So we have um, some people coming on. That's great. Welcome to the path to a US high school diploma. Um, you're going to be able to chat during this talk. So perhaps um, a quick hello. Could you perhaps just write a quick hello in chat so that we know that function is working and so that we know you can do that? So you'll see chat in the middle of your screen down the bottom. So we've got some hellos, welcome. So we've got a little message from uh, Expo Lingua there. Please make sure you're writing to all panelists and audience. Order, alle Diskussion, Teilnehmer und Zuschauer. Fantastic, thank you very much. And we welcome everybody to our presentation. I want to start off with a quick yes or no game. Um, so I'll ask some questions and you answer yes or no in chat. First question, are you currently in Gymnasium? German high school? Yes or no? Oh, very good. We've got some yeses and a couple of noes. Um, next question. Do you watch films in English? Yes or no? Great. Have you ever been to the US? Okay, last question, but this one is not a yes or no question. Which Bundesland do you live in? Okay, great. Well, welcome once more to our short presentation on the path to a US high school diploma. So I hope you can see my screen and we're going to work through um, what the program is all about. And I want you to feel free to ask me questions at any time. So when you pop something in chat, I can um, then quickly react to it. And so feel free to stop, ask questions at any time. Okay, great. Let's continue. What is dual diploma? Dual diploma is an international high school program. It allows German high school students to attain their US high school diploma whilst or during uh, their time in high school in Germany. Uh, it's an online program, so it's not a program where you need to go to the US, you do it at the same time as doing your high school abitur. So, who is due diploma for? Let me ask some questions. You can answer yes to any of the following questions. Are you interested in a cultural exchange? Yes or no? Um, are you a high achiever? What does that mean? I think, I, I guess it means, do you do well at school? So you're somebody who likes school, who enjoys school, who likes learning. Are you somebody who likes learning English and knows it's important for their future? That's very important. So we've got lots of people who love learning English. That's very good. Um, are you thinking ahead about what you want to do in the future? Maybe what you want to study or where you want to travel or what you want to do for work. Are you thinking about that already? Great. And lastly, are you not afraid of challenges? Dual diploma is not easy, so it is a challenge. We think it's a positive challenge. So you have to be prepared for this. So 
Are you not afraid of challenges? Well then, maybe dual diploma is for you. Let's continue. So what is it and who runs it? Dual diploma comes from the US, from an educational institution called Academica. Academica serves charter schools in the US, that is private schools, and they have over 170 schools. So the dual diploma program actually started in Spain in 2010 with seven participants. And the program has just grown and grown and grown. And since last year, it's available to students in Germany. How does it work? Basically, you need to complete six six credits um, or subjects through Academica, that is your US high school. The six credits include four compulsory subjects. You have to do English, of course, two times, US history, US government and economics, and then two electives. And you can choose from the range of subjects that you can see up here. And these are subjects that you normally can't do in Germany, stuff like life management skills or psychology, digital photography, criminology, for example, as well. So really interesting subjects that hopefully um, feel like more like learning something that you'd be interested in. And again, feel free to stop me with a question in chat at any time. How does the program work? Well, basically, Academica needs to see that you've completed your Abitur in Germany. So once you've done that and completed the six subjects from um, the dual diploma program, then you graduate or you're eligible for a US high school diploma. Academica takes 18 subjects from your German Zeugnisse, from your German report cards. So maths and science and physical education and art, all these chemistry and biology, all these subjects you get credit for. You get them, in a sense, for free. And then you do the six subjects with Abitur, and that's what qualifies you. You can start the program in the eighth, ninth, or tenth class. I have a yes or no question at this stage. Uh, or maybe you can tell me which class you're in. So, for the kids who are, or for our audience who are in gymnasium or in high school, which class are you in? Can you write 8, 9, 10, 11 or 12? Uh, so we've got some people in 11, 12 and 11 and 10. Great. So at the end of the program, uh, your US high school diploma is exactly the same as somebody who would have studied in the US. I have to say at this stage, for the participants who are in the 12th class, we can speak with you a little bit privately about what the options are. But generally, the shortest possible time to do the dual diploma program is two years. So maybe if you're in the 12th class and you live in Bayern or in a state where you do 13 years of high school, there may be some options. We can talk about that personally later. You can call us or contact us about that. So the six subjects that you do with dual diploma, you can do over two years, three years or four years. One option, for example, if you start in the 10th class, you can do in the first year, 
English US history and elective. And um, in the second year, which might be your 11th class in Germany, you can do English, US government and economics. You can choose a three year program, or of course, also a four year program. The longer the program, the less subjects you do in one year. What do the lessons look like? Well, you're part of an international classroom the whole time. So you have a teacher, you meet with your teacher and your students with a live video lesson once every three weeks. So the platform they use is Zoom. You have a lesson with 20 other students from around the world and you get to meet each other you talk and it's like a standard classroom, except the students come from all over the world and it's online. Usually the live session is about one hour long every three weeks. Between the live sessions, we've got online tasks, interactive activities and different um, uh, tools to help you work through that particular subject. Because the program is online, you can see all the work that needs to be done. So you can work ahead of time, or you can choose when you do your work. And in this sense, the program is rather flexible. If, for example, you are going on holidays in Germany, you can work a little bit ahead, or you can tell your teacher, I'm away for two weeks, can I do this assignment later? And that's usually quite flexible. All the teachers are based in the US. They're qualified US teachers, except they don't teach in a school, they teach in our virtual school. Of course, there are tests, progress and uh, reports and grades at the end of each semester and year. The costs, we have a question about the cost, the costs are coming. What does the learning platform like, uh, look like? Here we have sort of a little bit of a screenshot of what the program looks like online. When you open up your login, you'll see your courses on the top left there of your screen. You can choose, click your course, and you'll see what needs to be done. You'll always be updated with a to-do list. What are the assignments due that week? What you have to do? And of course, next activity stream, which will keep you up to date about what you've done, what you've been doing, what needs to be done. Next enrollment, we can enroll, you can enroll two times in the year. Um, standard start, which would be the beginning of a typical school year, also here in Germany, would be in October 2021. Or there's also an opportunity to jump in what we call jumpstart um, in January this year or next year, sorry. But you have to enroll by December this year. We'll be happy to talk about this in more detail later if you want to meet with us, call us, or even hang around after the presentation and we can discuss it further. The key strengths. So what do you get from doing dual diploma? I mean, we figure there's lots of different things that you get. First of all, an opportunity to improve your language, your English. All the subjects are conducted in English. All the students are English learners. So the English is a little graded, but the content and the communication with your teacher and your assignments are all in English. So by the end of the program, your English simply improves at a, at a level, at a rate, much higher, much quicker than perhaps students who are not involved in such a program. The program is also online and um, relies on you 
managing your learning, managing your program, managing your time. And so, um, as, as a, as an individual, as a young person, you start to learn about how to manage your time, how to manage, uh, your tasks. And so in this sense, it's also an opportunity for you to develop personally. Because the program is online, you get to develop also really useful technical skills. You become very confident and competent um, using digital learning tools. At the end, it looks great on your CV, on your Lebenslauf. When you apply at a university in Germany or apply for a job, or if you want to apply for a university in the US, you'll see uh, on your uh, CV, the uh, school, college, or employer will see that you have two high school diplomas, which is quite a rare thing and may give you that advantage. Okay, the costs, because we had that question. Um, we have a 200 euro sign up at administration fee, and otherwise, the costs for the program depend on the year. You can see that there's a two year program cost, three year, and a four year program cost there on the screen. The costs are all inclusive, so you just pay, that covers every aspect of the program. You're in effect um, enrolling in a school. Uh, that is based in the US, uh, which you as a student are doing online. So all the activities within this school um, are covered by the fee. The fee is paid at the beginning of each semester and is basically a half, the half of what the annual fee is. If at any point you decide okay, this program is not for me, or if I may decide to travel or take a different path, you can pull out of the program and you will not be obliged to pay for the rest of the program um, that you haven't completed. So we don't wish that, we don't wish that anybody leave the program, we hope that they could continue, but you don't have to feel that you are obligated to pay the fees or the costs to the end of the program. If your, your circumstances change or if your feeling about the program changes. Oh, excuse the uh, ambulance, we're in Leipzig at the moment. How do we register? First of all, you can click or go to our website, Your Diploma Germany, where you'll see an unmetal formula, and um, we need that sign and return to us. But before that, we're pretty sure you're going to have questions or you might need some advice, and we are here to help you. Now, don't worry, it's not only in English. <laughs> I'm doing this presentation in English, but my colleagues, Frau Liebau, who's sitting next to me, she can also answer questions today in German, oder ich kann auch versuchen. Um, so, we can, we can consult, we can um, call you, we can meet with you via Zoom, and um, try to give you as much information as possible before you fill in the application form, or, or even after. Once you fill in the application form, step two is to pay the administration fee. That's the 200 euro fee, which covers all the administration costs at the beginning. What's important is step three. Um, the, there's a small admissions test, and this admissions test is a test to, is a test to test your level of English. You need to have a B1 level English. That's typical for a year nine, class nine German student. So Academica needs to know that your English is good enough to start. Once you pass the admissions test, then it gets serious. Academica will send you an acceptance letter by mail and say, congratulations, you're in. We can start. You'll get sent the login details. Your teacher makes contact with you. 
And then the first week of the semester, the teacher invites you to a welcome video where you get to meet them and some other students and you can talk about and ask all questions that you may have at that point. What's important and probably the most important thing um, for the program and for us too is that it's also a personal program. So it's not about just an online program where you're just sitting working away. It's not like that at all. Your teacher is actively involved with you through video conferencing, through email, and through regular feedback on your work so that um, the program is as personal as it can be online. Your teacher will contact you when things are going well, will contact you when things are not going well. Your teacher will keep in contact with you regularly. In addition to just the standard um, subjects that you have to do, Academica is like a typical US high school. There's other activities that you can that you can get involved with. There's a newspaper club, there's a pen pal club, there's um, interest clubs. So if there's a particular um, interest that you may have, you can check out a club and then you can join other kids also online, also from around the world and work with them in these particular clubs. If you're interested, you can also check out Academica on the internet at oh, Academica International. There you can see their website and um, learn a little bit more about them. Of course, if you want a little bit more information or if you want to continue your journey on the dual diploma road, visit our website. And from there, you'll get all the general information you need. You'll also see the contact details of my colleagues, um, Katja Libal and Constanza Gazio, and they will be available for you at any time um, to talk about what your interests are, what your motivations are, and what your questions are. We can talk with families, we can talk with you, and um, we can talk also with schools. So we also work with schools so that um, they can bring dual diploma program into their school and then offer it to, to lots of kids then at the same time, rather than um, talking individually with individual families. Yeah, this is the dual diploma program in a short summary. I'd like to also now maybe ask you some more questions and maybe I can get some more um, uh, responses from you. Has anybody thought about uh, doing an exchange year in the US? Has anybody done an exchange year in the US? Okay. So, question. Um, are you interested? Yeah, I just had a comment about Corona. Yeah, Corona has actually changed um, Corona has actually just changed the situation completely. So in the past, an exchange year was a great option for high school students, but it's probably not something that's going to be possible, certainly not uh, this year anymore or next year. So as an alternative, this is, a, this is also a realistic and um, safer option. Okay, I have a, another question. Do we have any parents? No? Okay. Oh, we have some parents on who are listening? Okay. And do the parents have kids in gymnasium or in high school in Germany?
Okay. Great. So I would like to ask now, and I'll open the forum, do you have any questions that you would like to um, ask me or my colleague? If you had problems with my English or if you couldn't follow, you can also write your question in German and we'll try to answer it that way. So I just want to stop and give you some moments and feel free to write any questions or comments and then we can react. Okay, we've got a great question. Can I, I'll just read the question now. What if I could go to the US next year, but started the dual diploma program with Jumpstart in February? Because the program is online, you can do the program from the US. And we have students who are doing that at the moment. So um, they, they start the program and then they can continue in the US. And then when they get back, they can continue when they're back in Germany. Um, so spending time in the US during the program is not a problem. In fact, it's a really nice way to connect with some of the subjects, maybe some of the subjects you will also do in, the, in, in, uh, in your time in the US. If you do a subject in the US that is also part of the dual diploma program, you can get credit for that and swap it for an elective subject. We can talk about that in more detail if you like, maybe after the program. So how high is the succession rate of the program? So how successful are the um, participants? We only started in Germany in 2019. And so we haven't had any students who graduated yet. Our first graduate, graduating students are next year. But what I can tell you, is our German students are doing fantastic. They um, are mostly getting grades over 90%. It's, I don't want to put pressure on anybody, but they're doing, our German students are doing really, really well. What we know from students in other countries, like in France and Italy and Spain, other countries where the program is available, is that the completion is over 90%. So the kids who start, um, have a really good chance of finishing and do well. Does the dual diploma also work with Fachabitur? Yes, it does. What's important are two things. You must, at the end, complete an Abitur here in Germany. And then um, you must, uh, Academica must check the subjects that you did and they must find, or you must have the 18 credits, the math, the mathematic, um, biology, um, and other subjects in, in Germany so that they can count the credits from the US. So yes, it's possible with a Fach Abitur. Again, we can talk to you about that in more detail. Um, so a final exam at the end of your diploma? No, there's no final exam. So it's not like the German Abitur in this, in this sense. Every subject is, um, has a test in the middle and at the end, but it's not like a, um, it's not like an exam. It's more a test of, oops, it's more a test um, of the, the subject content. So it's not a, as difficult as a German exam, I have to say. It's more like a multiple choice A, B, C, D. Could I explain the six credits in more detail? Okay. The six credits, and if I could go back, the six credits are, credit means a subject. So you must complete six subjects with your diploma. So a typical subject is one year long or one school year. And the four subjects, four credits, you have to do. And these are subjects that um, 
include US history, US economics and government, and two times English. These are, in, these are subjects you have to do. The other two you have to do also, but you can choose. So this is what the six credits mean. A credit is like a subject. Normale Fach. What is meant with two times English? Okay, if you, two times English means you have to do English for two years in the dual diploma program. So every credit, every subject or Fach is one school year long. And English, you have to do two years. So English is an important part of the program and um, it's important that, that the students who complete a US high school um, diploma have a certain level of English. And with doing English for two years in this program, you will have a very good level of English. Don't forget, the US high school diploma is, the dual diploma is equal to an American student. So you don't have to speak or have an English level as good as an American, but you need that good level of English at the end. That's why with the, with the, the um, dual, dual diploma, high school diploma, you can then go on and study in the US without doing a language test because they know, hey, this, this kid can speak English. I hope that answers the question about the credits. Uh, again, if you visit our uh, website at Dual Diploma Germany, you can see this information in a little bit more detail and also in German. So I can tell and I can see that a lot of our participants have a good level of English. Has anybody in the group lived in an English speaking country before? So yes or no? Okay, fantastic. So we've got some people with really good English. Maybe you can write one or two words. How did your English get so good? Do you have friends in other countries? Do you just like learning English? Do you listen to music, watch films? Just write two or three words. How did your English get so good? Or do you just like English? Yeah, so we've got watching movies in English. That's an excellent way to series. Yes, of course we have Netflix today. So Netflix offers lots of films. Who watches films in English with English subtitles? That's my tip as an English teacher. Sometimes I need subtitles. Great. And some people watch without them. Okay. Who watches films with German subtitles? Yeah, some people don't like the subtitles. Okay, a quick yes or no or maybe question. Yeah, that's a good point. It's sometimes hard to watch a film and enjoy it and read the subtitles at the same time. Okay, so quick question, yes, no, or maybe. Who is interested perhaps in the dual diploma program or talking to us a little bit more about it. Yeah, a couple of maybes. 
That's fine. Okay, great. Now, I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, so I just want to say a few words about myself. Um, can you see me on the video? For some reason, I can't see myself, but um, yeah. <laughs> You can see me. You can see me on the video. Okay, I can't see myself, but that's okay. Um, so my name is John Lazaridis, and I'm part of the dual diploma team here in Germany. We're a small team of four people. My colleague Katja Liebau is sitting next to me. Maybe she can pop in. <laughs> and we have Consta Garcia and Francisca Mika, and they are also available uh, after this. Um, program or after this um, presentation if you have questions. So uh, I'm responsible for all things pedagogic in the program. I, When kids enroll, I'm responsible, I'm like the um, contact person here in Germany in case there's any problems about the program or things like this. I'm also an English teacher and I've been teaching English for over 20 years. So um, I've met the people and I've met the teachers who teach your diploma. And I have to say, I was very impressed with what they could do. Um, I'm also teaching online since Corona started, but I'm, I don't feel as good or as uh, confident as the academic teachers. So I'm not a dual diploma teacher. I'm just a, a program director here in Germany and a, a link and a help for those else German students um, in case they have any questions. Have you understood my English? I can have a yes, you can have a yes, no, or maybe it's okay, <laughs> or mostly. Okay, we've got some yeses, that's very nice. Okay, we've only got a few minutes left. I would like to give you a chance to ask any other questions. Now, if you're curious about your level of English and you wonder what is a B1, am I good enough, or how good is my English, you can go to our Dual Diploma Germany website and there you will see a link to a test or a placement test. Um, you will get some questions um, to test your English, A, B, C, and D. In the end, uh, you'll get a result. And we, I think we actually, I think you see the result or we send you the result. But then, sorry? Yes, we send you the result. So then we can tell you um, without obligation, you don't have to um, pay for this. You, we can tell you what level of English you have. The levels we use are A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, and C2. C2 is like a um, fluent uh, mother tongue speaker. So if you're curious, go to the website, try the Einstufungs test or placement test, and yeah, we will um, we can send you a quick info about the level of your English. Oh, there's an ambulance. Any other questions before we finish? So, I would like to say thank you very much for joining the uh, presentation. Thank you very much for um, engaging with me as well and being open and honest with your chat. My colleague and I will be here um, for the next one or two hours. So if you want to write to us now, feel free. At the Expo Lingua um, website, there's a chat option and we can chat with you at any time. I just have one more question. Let me see what it is. I'm not sure. Can I get a US high school diploma during or after an exchange year and come back? And do my abitur or is one year not enough? You can, the answer to this question is, 
Uh, can I get a US high school diploma during or after an exchange year? Well, there's two conditions to get your dual diploma. You have to finish your German Abitur, firstly. And secondly, um, you have to do the six, six credits or six subjects online with your diploma. So if you do an exchange year in the middle, that's fine. You can continue the program during your exchange year. But you have to finish your Abitur and the six credits with your diploma. And then you got it. Congratulations. At the end of your uh, dual diploma experience here in Germany, we will also have a graduation ceremony. So we, we, we love the, the traditions they have in the US with the robes and the hats. So uh, we, we also have, we will have a chance here in Germany for a graduation ceremony, we hope. So we have a question. The uh, test is uh, online. So um, nothing is, in a sense, physical. Um, the admission test is online. And it's about three weeks before the program starts. Um, at this stage, you do not pay for the program. You have to do the test, pass, get the acceptance, begin the program, and then the first payment comes after the first week. So you have a chance to get a feel, and then if you decide, no, stop, not for me, then you can withdraw, no obligation to pay. Them. If you go to our website, the test that you do on our website is also online, in case that's the question. So, thank you very much. We're gonna hang around, we're gonna keep the video running, for the next two or three minutes. We have to finish at 2.30. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask.